Well, Sartan, also known by the brand name Kozar, is one of the most commonly prescribed medications for high blood pressure. But here's the interesting part. It does more than just lower your numbers. It's also used to protect the kidneys in people with diabetes and to lower the risk of stroke in certain patients. Hi, I'm pharmacist Stan, passionate about providing educational content on medications to help you make smarter health choices. And today, let's talk about Losartan. Losartan belongs to a class of medications called ARBs, or angiotensin receptor blockers. Normally, a hormone in your body called angiotensin II makes your blood vessels tighten and your kidneys hold on to more salt and water. That combination pushes your blood pressure higher. Losartan blocks this hormone from attaching to its receptor. The result is that your blood vessels relax, your kidneys let go of the extra fluid, and your blood pressure comes down. Doctors prescribe Losartan for high blood pressure, of course, but that's not the only reason. It's also used to protect kidney function in people with diabetes who have protein in their urine. In some cases, it's prescribed for heart failure or to lower the risk of stroke in people with an enlarged heart. So while it's known as a blood pressure medication, it has important benefits beyond just controlling numbers on a cuff. Well, Sartan usually comes in tablet form, typically 25, 50, or 100 milligrams, and it's most often taken once a day. You can't take it in the morning or at night. What really matters is consistency. Some people prefer a bedtime to reduce dizziness. It can be taken with or without food. What's important is not stopping suddenly because your blood pressure can spike back up if you do. When it comes to side effects, ARBs like Losartan tend to be easier to tolerate compared to ACE inhibitors, which are notorious for causing a nagging cough. Still, Losartan isn't completely side effect free. The main issues include dizziness, low blood pressure, and sometimes high potassium levels. In rare cases, it can cause kidney problems, so your doctor may check your blood work from time to time. There are also a few precautions to keep in mind. Avoid potassium supplements or salt substitutes unless your doctor tells you otherwise, because your potassium could get too high. Medications like ibuprofen or other NSAIDs may make losartan less effective or harder on your kidneys. And if you're pregnant, losartan is a big no-go. It can cause serious harm to an unborn baby. So in short, losartan lowers blood pressure, protects the kidneys, and reduces stroke risk. The key points are always take it consistently, don't stop suddenly, and be mindful of potassium and kidney health.